Hello guys, welcome to another video. This time we're going to do a guide for the arena how to proceed when you're a beginner, when you are going from your 4 to 10 first 6 star monsters and how to proceed when you are a mid game player like me. I will not be telling anything to late game players because the late game player does not need this guy at all. So guys, let's start this by telling you what to do when you're a beginner and when you are going to start farming lottery points for those awesome rewards that you have at the shop. First, how do you farm when you are just starting? Then, you should go to your battle log, to your matchups, and you should go as low as possible on your ranks. You should lose some purpose to get easy fights. What you need is to win your fights. And to win your fights, you gotta be a low rank, as a low a rank as you can, because you need to get those players that have a level 14 or a level 1 monster on their defenses. That way you will be making a good use of your 10 wings and you will be aiming to be as low rank as possible in order to fulfill your 10 opponent list and you will get 2 wings once you clear your full list. That way for every 10 wings you get 12 and you will make better use of your current wings because since you are free to play and you're a beginner you will need as many resources as you can and you have to make them count you have to make every resource count now what should you do with the glory points you will farm well when you're a beginner and for beginner i mean a player who is between level 1 and level 50 and that no, does not have more than four six star monsters maybe maybe you have one six star monster and you have so much so many amazing uh, amazing five star monsters that can compensate for that and you will be equivalent to my next category which are the four to ten six star monster player however if you think of yourself as a beginner do what i just said go as low as you can in the ranks and then you just do as many as many points as you can you fight as many fights as you can and make the best use of you can of your wings now how will you spend them you go to the shop and you will buy every week this guy here a devilmon you will buy one devilmon every week it's mandatory your first 180 points of each week will be destined to the devilmon you will fag me later because you will fit these to your nut fight that you will obtain and you will be able to skill them up because you will not be getting repeats of those nut fights and perhaps if you get another nut five of the same type you will want to keep it anyway you will not want to feed it to other nut fights so guys by the way never feed nut fights now what do you do next you buy this thing Sanctum of Energy. As you can see, I'm using my free-to-play account to show you this because I think it's the more graphical thing I can do. If I show you my main account, I have already maxed a lot of buildings, so it won't be kind of pointless to use that to show you this. Now, this thing will allow you to upgrade the maximum amount of energy that you can have and that is very important for free-to-play players because every time you spend 30 crystals to reset you will get more energy out of those crystals and you will make much better use of your energy and your crystals now if you are a player that plays all day then you may want to buy this mysterious plant I did this on my main account, however, since I don't play during the day my free-to-play account, I did not went further than level 5 because I don't get as much of a benefit from uh, energy refreshing faster. However, it's very recommended to upgrade this if you play during the whole day because you will get a lot of better, better use of your resources and you will be able to play more. Now, for the next stage, what if you are a player that has from 4 to 10 6 stars monster? This is the state which I am right now on my free to play account. Now, I will show you what I do. On week 1, Arena has a, a very, very particularity, that is a very important particularity that you have to understand. It resets 
the ranks every two weeks. What does it mean? That on the reset week, it will be harder to go higher in the ranks because the points that will be distributed are less. What do you mean, Cal? You say. Well, what I mean is that in order for you, who are a, who are a player that has four to ten six star six star monsters and have a stable defense, well, it will be harder for you to maintain your rank. To keep a fire one, fire two, fire three rank, it will be harder for you. For example, what am I doing right now? This full week, I have been on my main defense. This is my main defense. I use the defense for when I want to win. I know I don't win many fights because I am starting. I am a new player. However, this defense wins some cases and this is the best I can do for defense and I left it on the full week because I want my team I want my rank to be fighter one at least fighter one at least because being a fighter one will net me four points as you can see the four right there if I beat this guy I get four points for example I take on this guy I will get four points four glory points if you were a beginner, when you were a beginner, you will be farming on the challenger ranks and you will be getting three points every fight. Now that you are more advanced, you want to make more better use of your wings. And making better use of your wings means getting the most out of them. And by getting the most out of them, it means that if you can be a fighter all the week, you will be getting 40 points every 10 wings you were getting 30 points every 10 wings when you were a beginner now on week one you want to get as many points as you can and by week one i mean the week the ranks were reset at the arena you will you will want to fight to stay at fire one that way you will get those 40 points every 10 wings now with that being said, on week two or and week three of the of the ranks, it will be much easier to maintain a fire one rank. So, on those weeks, you will have to keep track of how much you need to place a good defense, or maybe you can place a fake defense, and you will still maintain that fire one rank, which is. 1,200 1, points plus yes okay now with that being clear what do you do with those points you go to the shop and now of course you always buy the devil mom every week from now until you quit this game you will have already bought the 10 sanctum of energies maybe you will have already bought the 10 mysterious plants you will have to avoid those mana mana fountain and fairy trees because they are pointless and now what you want to do is to buy level 1 and level 2 of every stat building for example guard stone for defense i need to upgrade it right now so i will and i did now those are the guard stone, ancient sword, crystal altar, which I will upgrade right now. I said crystal altar, sky trade totem, and a fallen ancient giant. Those guys should all be on level two, okay? And then once they are on level two you will hear. As you see, I went here before because, well, I, I love speed. However, I don't recommend it. I recommend going plus two on everything and going plus two on the element that's most favorable for you. If you have a lot of Nuff Fight monsters and your main farmers are wind, then go for the wind sentry and go up to level two or level three, whatever you want, because it will mean a great boost in attack for you and will make easier to farm, easier to fight, and easier to win too. So, 
don't be afraid of doing that either. Now, Sky Tribe Totem, this thing is what you will max. Okay, maybe go up to level 9, because from level 9 to level 10 you will get only 1% speed and it will not mean a lot. However, speed is the most important attribute in the game, because whoever goes first has the first strike and has most likely his full team moving because almost everyone uses attack bar boosters. For example, what did I do just now? I fought against a player who had a Leo, his Leo went, hit my my Megan, my Megan is on, will, is on will runes, my Megan did not suffer an attack bar decrease because of the Leo, so then my Bernard went because he was faster than the rest of the, of the other guy's team, and my full team went then and they got wiped, okay? Now, I will refresh this and I will see if I can show you this. Okay, I will try this one. Since I have speed on my Bernard and I focus on making him as fast as I can, I think that Orion will interrupt me though. I am faster. Okay, he dirt. Now my team will go. And I will most likely combo him and already win this, it's in the bag. Now his full team is dead and I won. As you can see, speed is what matters the most in this game because it will net your team a free attack on the opposing team and will most likely kill one, two, three or even the full team and will grant you victory. Now since you are going to from the beginner to the mid game tier player you will want your speed as high as you can because it means a great advantage and you want to win from now on. This is the point where the game starts from turning in from a farming exclusive game to a competitive game because you will now be able to compete with other players that are at that stage which is where most players are so now when you move from there to mid game player which i am particularly on my main account which is a conqueror one account what i do is to stay on fighter rank for the full week and then on Saturday I change to my strong defense and go up to Conqueror. Depending on the on the week it is, if it's the reset week it will be harder. This particular week was much harder. I think it was because of the live time arena, real time arena RT8. Because many players are playing that and are not playing the regular arena and therefore there are not as many points to be gambled as every time. Usually you will get, for example, right now on my main account I'm ranking I'm rank 7627 and I only have 1521 points so I'm barely, barely Conqueror 1 however my rank is very well into Conqueror 1 which are the top 10,000 players so even the, 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 rank, the player ranked at 10,000 has less than 1,500 points, which are the minimum you need to be conqueror. So this week is very particular. And I think this will be the standard from now on, since RTA is going to be a part of our game right now. So guys, what you should keep in mind is that you need to upgrade your buildings as much as you can, because they are like having an extra room. They are very important, and you also need... Okay, let, let's see if I can get a fight here. Okay, I will be wrecked, because you see he has a speed leader. Let me show you how I lose. And how speed is very important for this. You see, he won first. Now, oh, he dared. I may win, even though. Okay, now let's see if his solution goes before mine. He did, and I lose. You see, guys, how speed is important for that. Okay, now <clears throat> it's very important to to be as fast as you can because speed is what is what matters here, and you have to take the first turn. So, guys, I ended that with a lose. I don't like finishing my guys with loses. I am trying to find something I can beat. However, I am not finding anything I can beat. Well, maybe I can take on this. Let's see if I can win one for the for saying goodbye right now. But guys, the point is 
that you need to farm glory points as much as you can because they will give you stats and those three stats are what you want and also also okay I will lose this one too oh what the hell oh my god okay Lucian please finish this can you yes thank you very much now <coughs> those stats will help you win as you can see they helped me here and they helped me to get to conqueror one on my main account so guys that's my guide for farming glory points if you have any questions please feel free to comment and if you like my content like subscribe if you don't don't and if you like them and you don't want to subscribe just don't subscribe do whatever you feel like bye guys